breath. Um, today we're gonna practice a mantra that is, this mantra chose me in life when it just popped into my head and I'm sure I heard it before somewhere but I never practiced it or consciously observed it. And then I looked it up and the meeting was just like, oh yeah. The mantra is Aung Sung Wahe Guru. And it means the creative loving energy of this universe vibrates within every cell of me. It is a mantra for oneness, just acknowledging that we are all made of the same stuff. And deep down it loves us as much as we can love ourselves. And it's that unconditional true love, not that love with expectations. So whenever we chant these mantras like um, it's A N G or A U N G or A U N G. It's kind of somewhere between an A and a U. But the N G is the emphasis. So we're closing off the back of our throat like and just vibrating our head like a conch. And what this does is starts to vibrate these higher glands in our head, like the pineal, the pituitary, the thyroid. And it is said that it helps to stimulate them and with glandular function. But it also feels really nice to really give ourselves to this. So again, it's Ong, repeat after me. Song Wahe Guru. So bring both hands over your heart center, just right in the middle of the chest. Left hand first, right hand over left, press in lightly. We'll close the eyes down. If you need to follow the script, that's okay. But after you do it a few times, just get into the rhythm, close your eyes, and immerse yourself in this experience. You can feel the vibrations in your body as a good beginning practice and just feel what the mantra is doing to you. And once you're really comfortable with that, start to see like that space around you and feel it vibrating with your power as well. together and open briskly actually. We'll tune in with the Adi Mantra. Om Namo Gurudev Namo. Heart center in. Om Namo Gurudev Namo. Om Namo Gurudev Namo. center, press in lightly, and we'll begin.
Be for a moment. Mantra has been a pivotal, pivotal, <laughs> it makes it difficult to talk sometimes. It has been a pivotal role in my growth and my expansion because it has helped me learn to focus my mind singularly opposed to just being scattered all about, like oftentimes we find ourselves. Some people are born with this enhanced ability to focus even on things they do not want to, but many of us are challenged here. So when you met with resistance and you practice these, just bring your awareness back to the mantra, back to your voice, back to your being. We don't focus on the thoughts or fixate, we just allow them to be. And in time, we find ourselves immersed, and it feels quite wonderful. If you are challenged or if you have issues focusing or want to work with someone individually, reach out to me. I may be, I'm in Wichita, Kansas, but I will work with people virtually, and sometimes we can, I travel quite a bit, we may be able to meet up on the road. So reach out. It's going to bring our palms together and rub them briskly. We'll seal today with three long satnams, S-A-T-N-A-M. Satna. Base of your thumbs to heart, center eyes closed, repeat after me. I am light. I am bright. I am strong. I am secure. I will make peace and I am at peace. I love myself. I am love. I am beautiful. Three satnams. Inhale. Satnam. 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 May we find strength and grace in our lives. Thank you for being here. So no. Please like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you think. Thank you. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Also know that we have a Patreon and we are accepting supporters. The lowest tier is $5. That keeps things like this being made. Helps support this path, this studio, these teachers. Thank you for watching.